Howdy, I'm Brian. I'm Justin. We're here with the all-new RAV4 Hybrid in Discovery VR. We all know that Central Texas is awesome above ground. But what about below it? We're here at Natural Bridge Caverns, where we're actually going to see Texas from the inside. We're going to do some caving. Or spelunking. 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 Or caving. Which one do you wear the miner's hat? Uh, I don't know. Which one do you get a pickaxe for? Which one do you uh, Sing search for gold? In that famous song. And here he is, the man himself, our tour guide, Roger. Thanks so much for coming, Roger. Hey, thank you, guys. Pleasure. Pleasure right. to be here. This is called Natural Bridge Cavern. Correct. Why? So if you look, we have this 60-foot long natural bridge. That thing is insane. So it's actually one piece of limestone all the way across. It originally would have extended all the way above us. We'd have been underground, but 5,000 years ago, it collapsed, leaving behind our natural bridge. Uh, that's rad. Also not so reassuring. <laughs> I guess let's dive <laughs> in. A hey, good cosmetic change. Yeah, it looks no, amazing. It looks amazing. <laughs> all right, we are about 150 feet underground right now in easily the single most majestic cave I've ever seen. Roger, tell us all about this. So we're now, again, 150 feet below the surface in what's called the Castle of the White Giants. And obviously, it gets its name from the three giant formations here. Uh, the one right over here on the left is called the Watchtower. It's 50 feet tall, six to eight feet in diameter at the widest point. Wow. Then here in the middle, we have our largest stalagmite in the cavern. So it's called the Mount of the Landlord, and it gets that name from the holes in the formation that were said to look like apartment windows. And so making this an apartment building, at the very top, there is a guy with his arms crossed right up there holding a bag of money. That's the landlord waiting to collect his rent. That's awesome. And then our final formation on the right-hand side is called the King's Throne. The king sits right there in the middle. He has his two armrests, his footstool, and then all this above his head is drapery. How long does it take to form? I mean, pick any of these stalagmites and stalactites and explain to me about how long uh, shorthand to, okay. make, to make them. So shorthand, one cubic inch is formed about every 100 years. Oh. So a visual kind of cue is about the size of an ice cube every 100 years. And that's a very rough average. But So you go ahead, pick a formation, guess how many ice cubes you can fit inside of it, and multiply by 100. Oh. Wow! Uh, I can't wait to see more. This is amazing. Well, let's keep going. Think about this. The people who discovered it found an opening, what, like three, five feet wide? Yeah. Go slinking down deeper and deeper and deeper, and next thing you know, you're just finding bigger and bigger caverns. Yeah, what a trip. Sweet sassafras, man. I thought I knew, man. I thought I knew. But I didn't. It was so otherworldly, man. I, it's like after all of that, I feel, I don't know, weird. Like I need to get my sea legs back under me above the surface. It just feels like all ideas came from caves like that where light and shadows invented everything around us. Yeah, no kidding. It's inspiring. 